by discussing Chris Johnson, former NFL running back. He is accused of a murder-for-hire plot. Now, obviously, everybody has watched Tiger King at this point. We all know that, uh, that Joe Exotic uh, was accused of trying to have that uh, bitch Carol Baskin killed, as he says. Um, this is more like real-life stuff, right? <laughs> this, and, and I understand that was real life. That was documentary. I get it. But um, the story is former NFL running back Chris Johnson is accused of paying a suspected gang member for allegedly killing two men who shot him and killed his friend in 2015, according to court documents obtained by TMZ Sports. Johnson, 34, has not been charged with a crime, but prosecutors believe he paid a noted Florida gang member named Dominic Bolden to kill the suspected gunman in a March 2015 drive-by shooting in Orlando. Um, Johnson, a three-time Pro Bowler who last played in 2017 for the Cardinals, was shot in the shoulder during the Orlando shooting, but made a full recovery. The uh, The driver of Johnson's Jeep, uh, Drikius Orico uh, Johnson, died after being shot in the head. Police at the time said Johnson was uncooperative and investigators suspected the vehicle had been targeted. Um we can go through a whole bunch of other stuff here. Johnson tweeted earlier that it was uh, false news. Um, basically, this whole thing is built on court documents that were, uh, it was a statement by somebody that had a reason to try and take people down with him, right? I guess, yeah. It's, all I know is that all I read was that it was from an informant, um, from what little experience I have with law enforcement stuff from being just a criminal justice major and uh, doing like an internship informants are really, really, really bad. Um, they're, they're hard to bring actual charges if there's no evidence outside of an informants uh, thing. They usually have great information. The problem is you can't trust them because they're only giving you information to get something in return. And while I think most of the stuff they say has a lot of potential to be true. It's really hard to bring in court. I mean, it just is as a, as a prosecutor, you can get a lot of evidence for a lot of things, but it's hard to get a judgment. Yeah. That's I, I would imagine there's not a lot of evidence here. There's not a lot of anything else. It's one it guy. Sounds saying, like Chris Johnson was involved in gang activity and very comfortable in a gang world. And the, people who shot him and his friend, or I thought it was his family member, his cousin. But yeah, yeah, I think, anyway. I think so. Uh, you know, the, you know, sad that, that, you know, he was shot and that, that his friend or family member died. These people are now dead. You know, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm a cynical person and I come across as an asshole a lot of times, but, Look, I'm not going to lose any sleep over if some gang members are dying. I'm just, not, I'm just not. I can, I can understand not. that. I mean, you're, it's you're terrible people, and you're you're a drain on society. It'll tell you exactly you know? what you need to know when it said that Johnson was uncooperative with the investigation when he was uh, a victim. Yeah, you know, he wanted. He probably wanted. He knew who these guys were. If, if he thought he was targeted, and he probably wanted to take care of himself. I, and you know what, though, there is a part of me that understands that because yeah. I. Th- the scary things that happen when you become a dad for the first time ever, you start thinking of what happens if somebody hurts my kids. And, and it's just one of those things where I think about, you know, the situation where I'm, I'm okay burning the rest of my life. I'm, I I am, I'm, I'm totally fine with, with cashing in and blowing it all on finding whoever hurt my child and making sure that they hurt and that they don't live anymore. And I don't want that to go into the police's hands. I don't want it to go to the justice's hands. I, I want to take care of it. And then if that costs me the rest of my life, it's fine. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah. I mean, so, it makes so perfect sense. I think sense. about that. And so it's really hard for me to say, you know, I wouldn't want to be cooperative. You know, I, I, I probably would be cooperative. But at the same time, there's that part inside the back of my head that says, I fully understand wanting to handle this myself. Yeah. No, you're, uh, you're dead on Doesn't about make that. make it right. Totally doesn't make it right. Completely illegal. Not okay to do. But I, I but get you get it. it. Yeah, I get it. Um, but there, I'm sure there will be much more about this come out. It it just happened. 
uh, today. Like the the story just popped today. But at some point so, in time, we got to get in. We got to get evidence. We yeah, gotta we, get we got to get more than just this guy. We got to get corrobor- corroboration. You got to get a whole lot more than what we got right now. A yeah, all lot. all it is right now is a court document from something that was that was said. You know, yeah. so is what it is. Uh, next topic before we bring in Lynn. Uh, 